Hi, this is Chick Shane Mosley, and you're watching True School Sports. Right. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, in the aftermath of the Johnny Beck Denzel Bentley fight, you know, Johnny Beck, Aileen Canuli, Johnny Beck, the boogeyman, he looks like everything but a boogeyman. And now that Denzel Bentley has kind of like, you know, exposed some of the flaws that Johnny Beck has, a lot of fighters are getting very courageous. A lot of fighters are now willing to fight him. Some guys are calling him out. One guy in particular who's calling him out, who I think is relevant to what transpired this past Saturday between Johnny Beck and Bentley, is none other than the number four ranked WBO middleweight contender, Felix Cash. Now, Felix Cash went on Twitter and tweeted the following, and I quote, I've had enough of this shit. Eddie Herm, Johnny Beck, sort this out. So, essentially, Felix Cash is calling out Johnny Beck. And now, why is this relevant? For those of you wondering why is this relevant, this, this, this is relevant because Johnny Beck and Felix Cash have an opponent, a common opponent, and that is none other than the Bentley himself, Denzel Bentley. You know, Johnny Beck went life and death, had a very tough, grueling, arduous fight with uh, Denzel Bentley. Meanwhile, a couple years ago, Felix Cash fought Denzel Bentley and starched him in three rounds, got him the hell out of there in three rounds. So... Apart from Bentley himself, the only guy whose stock went up because of this fight was Felix Cash because every round that Bentley lasted and, and, and then started having success, it just made his win that against uh, Denzel Bentley a couple years ago look that much better. Now, when you look at the middleweight rankings, honestly, there really isn't a whole lot of fights I could see being uh, more realistic than this one. I mean, we look at the, when we look at this division, and, I, and I've stated it many times and I'll continue to state it here. This middleweight division is absolutely trash. It's it's overall as a whole, it's an it's a historically bad middleweight division right now. You know, so look, we know Johnny Beck's not gonna fight Charlo because Charlo's not retired at this point. We know Golovkin and Johnny Beck won't fight because Johnny Beck said he don't want to fight him, ducking him pretty much, saying he he respects his elders and all that nonsense. So we go th when we go through the, 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 the WBA rankings right now, uh, Munguia is the number one ranked contender. And he's not going to fight Johnny Beck because he's fighting this weekend against Gonzalo Correa, who Johnny Beck already knocked out a couple years ago. So he's tied up. You got Chris Eubank, who uh, they just announced recently is getting ready to fight um, Liam Smith. So that take him off the board. You got uh, Miriam Ner Nerzolatinov. Now, I don't know if he's what his plans are, what he's doing. So maybe, maybe him. But after that, it's Felix Cash. It's Felix Cash. And I, and I think it's a good fight. I think this would be... Uh, a good step up fight for Johnny Beck, you know, in the middleweight division because Cash did beat Bentley. Uh, Felix Cash has deeper amateur pedigree than a guy like Bentley, and he has, you know, the kind of amateur pedigree to where, you know, maybe he can match some things Johnny Beck does from a boxing standpoint. But, you know, Felix Cash can move, he can box, he can punch. He's got a lot, a lot of things uh, with him, you know, as far as attributes are concerned. Um, his last fight this past February against. Um, Magomed Medea was a very tough fight. It was a fight where you could argue he might have lost because um, he got dropped in the second, got dropped in the tenth, and then was and then was deducted a point for holding in the um, in the tenth and final round. So you know he, I I, th I personally thought he lost the fight. I thought Medea did just enough to win the fight because you know when when you, when, you, when you have two ten eight rounds and then a point deduction on the opponent, that's that's five points right there. And um, at best, if, if Cash sweeps the rest of the fight, it's a draw. And I don't think he swept the whole fight. So with that being said, you know, Felix Cash has a lot to prove. While, while he may have that win with Bentley, I still look at him as a guy with a lot to prove. Um, it's, you know, he hasn't fought in now nine months, going on 10 soon. So he, he wants to get active. And, and what better way for him to be active than to fight and challenge for the WBO middleweight title? You know, um, Johnny Beck's not going to get those fights we want to see him in. And there's not really a whole lot as far as depth is concerned in this weight class. So believe it or not, whether you like it or not, Felix Cash might be the best, one of the best options out there for Johnny Beck. And I think it'd be a good fight because, you know, uh, Cash, like I said, we saw Bentley have success counterpunching. 
Cash can have the same success. And Cash, I think, is punching harder than Bentley. Cash's punches are sharper than Bentley's. Cash is more of a of a textbook boxer, but with more athleticism as to where Bentley is is a guy that's kind of awkward, kind of doesn't really like move his head a lot, but does a lot of shifting, subtle shifts in the pocket to get in a position to hit you. So I like this fight. And, and, and I think Johnny Beck needs to stay active. I think with him, um, he's not a big name. He's, doesn't, he's not going to like really be a, a Canelo type of star, nothing like that. So I feel like Johnny Beck's going to have to make some concessions. As Michael Montero said, he's going to make some concessions and prioritize activity in 2023. Become an active fighter. Try to shoot with three to four fights in 2022 and defend that belt against the best competition you can find. Because, um, you know, Johnny Beck had to fall for some months. And, and you know, you want his timing to be at the best. Because with his kind of style, with, with, with the way Johnny Beck fights, he's a guy that relies on timing. He's a guy that relies on, you know, being in the right position and... These kind of things are very incumbent and reliant upon, you know, you fighting a lot and your and your timing being in order. And your timing is, is, what, is what suffers the most when you're not active. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Uh, Felix Cash calls out Johnny Beck. I like this fight next form. I think it's a good fight for the middleweight division. I think it's a good fight for boxing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys make of Felix Cash versus Johnny Beck? Uh, what kind of chance do you give Felix Cash? And, 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 you know, do you think he's right for the picking you know, do you think Johnny Beck is not right for the picking for a guy like Felix Cash to come in there and go ahead and beat him? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.